Aw, you lost. Looks like the Ruffian Rangers got cancelled. What a sour ending. Hold on a second. What's going to happen to the good little boys and girls who were taken hostage? Go bye-bye, perhaps? Who cares? That's awful! Naive, where is your dignity as a princess? Did you sell it along with your soul? Please, just give me one more chance to save the kids! Ruffian Red! Very well. I suppose I'll give you another chance. I won't have my sister of all people questioning my dignity. What's wrong, Ruffian Red? Don't come near me! This is just great. Damn you, Cerberus! Getting straight into another battle would be perilous. We should retreat for now and reorganize. This is the quest shop. We got some new quests. Here, here. It's all you now. It's all you now. It's all you now. It's all you now. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. We got some new quests. Here, it's all you now. I'm counting on you.
me, please. I can't believe Ruffian Red ended up becoming a god of destruction. He must have had one of those cores planted inside him, just like Biko did. Stupid Cerberus. I wonder what other preparations he has in store for us. Whatever they are, they can't be good. Mijul's research is based on the DNA of a super ancient Majin who almost destroyed all netherworlds in ages past. While it's unclear how that fool managed to obtain this Majin's DNA, that was supposedly the start of everything. So long as he possesses it, he'll most likely be able to create as many gods of destruction as he wishes. An ancient Majin? No wonder they look so ominous! It's quite likely this... Ruffian of Destruction is stronger than Biko was. Be careful now. That makes sense. The more powerful the sacrifice, the more powerful the God of Destruction, right? Screw it. Let's just kill him. No! Don't kill him! You can just take out the core and save him like you did for Biko! Ugh, fine. managed to defeat Ruffian of Destruction. I'm impressed. I suppose it's a bad ending for me today. <laughs> Wait right there, Naive! I refuse. I must consult Lord Mijuel regarding the next stage. La la la, I'll see you when you turn the page. Okay. Yeah, I guess I owe you guys a big one, huh? I'll make it up to you after I rescue all those hostages, I swear. Okay, it's a promise. And we have to rescue Biko. Come on, we're going after that stupid mutt. Princess, wait. If you keep super reincarnating, you could end up dying forever. Do you have any idea how sad that would make Biko? Not to mention, how sad it would make me. Let's search for another way to save your sister. 
Please. She's right, you know. As someone who possesses the power of money, there must be some way I can contribute. No. We've already wasted enough time. Biko can't wait any longer. Agreed. The best we can do to help Zed is to save Biko as soon as possible. Besides, all of you know better than most that Zed won't stop, no matter how hard you try to make him. Oh? You're decently insightful for an idiot. Don't call me an idiot! I'm always decent and insightful. Fine, fine. If we're set on going, we must make haste. Time is money, after all. All right. Let's go, everyone. Super reincarnation! <sighs> Am I falling apart? Is this because of super reincarnation? No. Even if my body's torn to shreds, I will save Biko, no matter what. Previously on Disgaea 6. Super reincarnated Zed and company found themselves in a brand new world! In a backwater town during the holiday season, young Zed and his beloved dog head to the cathedral during a blizzard. Beloved dog? What happened to wanting to kill me? Young Zed, upon gazing at the paintings he longed to see, was enraptured with a sudden calmness. Then he whispered, I have no more regrets. Oh, Cerberus. I'm so tired. That's okay. Go ahead and sleep. For all eternity! <laughs> I won't let you go, Cerberus. I'm dragging you down with me! Zed, you set me up? That's fine. Our true battle begins here. The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. Decrepit Netherworld. It's so depressing. Oh, and the stench! For your information, this is Prince Zed and Biko's home. What? Are you telling me that Biko was raised in such a ramshackle environment? This is intolerable. I must prepare a world full of flowers for Biko immediately. Hey, dummy! Don't you think finding Biko is way more important right now? Oh, right. Anyway, why the hell would Cerberus come back here? Act 2. The Truth Comes Out. Episode 3. Dawn of the Biko. This is the quest shop. Great job! We got some new quests. Here. It's all here you now. It's here. all you now. It's all here. here now. It's all you now. Great job! Great job! I'm counting on you.
Must be a reason why Mijuel went out of his way to come to Zed's home. <laughs> Can't imagine he could need anything from this dump. Dump? Are your memories of this world really so terrible? I have nothing but bad memories of this place. The stupid villagers used to pick on me and Biko all the time. <gasps> what did you say? They picked on sweet little Biko? Every damn one of them shall be sentenced to death! Death, I say! Prism Overlord! As a defender of justice, I can't let you do that! <laughs> it appears we contrast like light and shadow, Prism. Perhaps you'd like to settle the matter. This is no time to be fooling around! The enemy is upon us! Seriously? Whatever, let's just wipe the floor with... Uh. 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 Damn it. Again? Wh whatever is the matter, Prince said. Are you in pain? Uh. It's nothing. I'm fine. Don't give us that, Zed. You're supposed to rely on your friends in times like these. That's right! After all, there are seven of us in the Prism Rangers!
on. Let's go, guys. Go. Let's harmonize. Love will save the devil. Let's go. Allow it. Behold my riches. doing? Are you still in pain? I'm fine. Being here just brings back bad memories. That's understandable, Zed. But even so, you mustn't disparage your roots. Roots? This is just the place where I woke up a zombie. It doesn't have any sentimental value. Oh? This is news to me! Then where were you born, Prince Zed? Beats me. I don't have any memories from before I woke up. Huh? Then you and Biko... Yeah, we're not blood-related. Neither of us remember our parents. We were just two orphan zombies without money, power, or anything else. 
That's why those stupid villagers bullied us whenever they got the chance. The only place with happy memories was that little shack we built to protect us from the elements. We were just helping each other out zombie to zombie, but somewhere along the way, Biko started calling me Bubby, and before we knew it, we were family. Oh. I don't give a damn about blood. Biko's my little sister, no matter what anyone else says. I see. So the two of you supported one another. You both truly shared a difficult life. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just... I just... I can't help myself! Seriously, how did you become an overlord? Where do you wish to go? Did you forget something? Follow me, please. Bobby! Biko! Oh, caught up already, have you? Not bad. You have exceeded all of my expectations. Shut up, Cerberus! Let her go, right now! Come now, where are your manners? Just think of this as a family reunion of sorts. Go to hell, you stupid mutt! <laughs> that mouth of yours is as foul as ever, I see. Shut it! I'll rip your tongue right out of your mouth! See if you can talk then! Bubby! Servies! supposed to get along. Hmm, that's what your beloved little sister says. But what say you, say? What Biko says goes. I'll get along with you just fine. After I kill you! 
A wonderful answer, truly, but unfortunately for you, I can't afford to die just yet. I'm detecting a high energy reading! A god of destruction is appearing! Just how many gods of destruction have you prepared for us, Super Sage Mijual? It's as if he found them on sale! Buy one, get a dozen free! Stop this madness, Mijual! Release Biko at once! I'm the one you want! I'm the one you truly despise! Despise? You? Oh, <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth. What? Uh, then... What is your objective? My objective? <laughs> Why, it's the destruction of the entire universe, of course. You want to destroy the whole universe? But that includes you, too! Oh, I'm well aware. To be destroyed along with the universe is exactly what I want. He's purposely pursuing a tragic ending for himself. The hell's wrong with you, Cerberus? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. It's the universe that's wrong. I'll show you the power of the Guys!